Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you watched GDC coverage this year, you probably noticed that ray tracing was pretty much the star of the show. Every game engine featured in some capacity ray tracing functionality, but I mentioned yesterday in a video I did about Unreal Engine that uh, Unreal was the only one that came to market. Now, a lot of people have actually updated me in the comments to tell me that this wasn't actually the case, that uh, there was actually an experimental version for Unity that is out there, and that's exactly what we were going to look at today. I do have to start things off with a bit of a warning though. The video I did yesterday was about running Unreal Engine using an older GPU. NVIDIA just shipped updated drivers which bring real-time ray tracing or DXR, DirectX ray tracing support to their older Pascal, I think it's Pascal, Pascal based GPU such as the 1060, the 1070, and the 1080. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be true with Unity. So this Unity experimental version, uh, frankly, it just crashes a lot on my 1080 card. So don't expect some great real-time ray tracing demonstrations here, but I can show you the process at the very least. And if you have the hardware required, hopefully you can get started ray tracing. So if you head on over to the Unity webpage at forward slash ray dash tracing, uh, you will find there is... Um, a downloadable link here for getting an experimental HDRP or high definition render pipeline build of uh, Unity. This is very experimental. You can grab it um, on the Unity webpage. You click into, where is it? The uh, releases category right here. And it's these top two links that you want to grab the Unity Experimental DXR 7 zip file and the Windows standalone support 7 zip file. Go ahead, grab those, extract them out and then uh, you can run the Unity version inside. Then once you've run it, make sure, especially if you have multiple versions of Unity installed, when you create a new project, select the version that you just installed and the template will show up, DXR High Definition uh, Render Pipeline Preview. That's what you wanna go ahead and create. Create that project and it will look something like this. Now that's not really that exciting because I haven't opened up the main scene, so let's open that guy up right now. So this scene looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. You'll notice in the background, it seems to be a London horizon. This is actually just a sky map, an environmental map around our setting. We got a simple dining room setting being uh, set up or configured here. And this is where you should see the real-time ray tracing in action. Now, one of the things you should be aware of is right up front in the design mode or scene mode, you're not going to see ray tracing. It is only when you launch game. And if you'll notice down here, there's a little bit of an error message. That is because my hardware seemingly is not compatible. So if I click game, we're gonna crash. So today I am not going to click game. Instead, let's look at what is actually going on behind the scenes here. How do you configure ray tracing in your Unity scene? And it's actually fairly straightforward. What you want to do is go up here and notice this ray tracing environment object. That is the guy that does most of the heavy lifting. So you'll see here a number of different categories. So we got ray trace ambient occlusion settings, ray trace reflection settings, ray trace shadow settings, primary visibility ray tracing, indirect diffuse ray tracing, uh, light clustering and so on. Additionally, if you select objects in the scene, um, you've got configuration settings there too with their shaders, you can configure how they work in ray tracing. So you see here, additional settings, ray trace mode uh, and so on. So with objects you put within your scene, ooh, Boom, okay, we're gonna crash anyway. So like I said, this is not configured to be working on my generation of processor. The amount of success you have is going to be very, very random. But the nice thing is I can point you if you have the right hardware in the direction of where you need to go to learn how to configure these new settings. And that is in the folder that conveniently was just brought up for us in where you extracted out the Unity Experimental DXR settings. You'll notice there is a folder called documentation. And if you open that one up, there's a PDF file within it and here it is. Is. And this basically, first off, has instructions on what you need to get up and running. The one thing that is missing here is the NVIDIA RTX series card. So even though the 10 series card now has ray tracing compatibility, it doesn't work with this experimental version of Unity. Now, there's also possible that this experimental version of Unity is crashy as hell on, on RTX series of cards too, and it might just be the nature of the beast here. But I'm kind of pushing the limit, so I don't really blame them for crashes I'm seeing. You also need to have the most current version of Windows, at least as of time of writing. So this is the creator update. I think this was released around April or March. So you need to have build 1809 or better. Now you can actually find that out. Hit the Windows key and type Winver and it will actually run and tell you what your build of Windows 10 is. And as you can see, you want to find that it's 1809 or newer. And as I mentioned, this is the most current release, at least you're on uh, early access preview versions for uh, Windows updates. So you need to have those versions, uh, the, the, up, the downloading process I've already described over here. But if you scroll down in this a little bit more, you actually get a pretty good hands-on about what each of these components is and the settings involved here. So you see we've got uh, ray trace environment, 
uh, set here under rendering. And this is where all the various different configurations that we just mentioned before the crash occurred. So the ray traced ambient occlusion and what these effects have and so on. So in addition to the uh, environment settings, we've also got settings under uh, the materials or shaders, which you'll find down here. So uh, when you're in a shader, you've got to render a game object with primary visibility effect, edit the material of the game object and select ray tracing from the rendering pass dropdown. Like you can see right there. Uh, and we got in diffuse lighting. So in your lighting settings, you can also configure how ray tracing is going to occur. And essentially that is the extent of the documentation or the materials you have there. And that's also the extent of what it takes to configure ray tracing. It's pretty simple. You're kind of working with the existing uh, kind of architecture that you use to create a unique game as it is. You're just adding in uh, a layer of ray trace configuration settings on top. Now, of course it does require all of those things you mentioned. So that's the same for running ray traced games too, by the way, on Windows. You're gonna to need to be on the most current build. You're going to have the newest driver requirement and you're going to need either a 10 series or 20 series card to run any of this stuff. Um, but that is essentially it. It's a pretty straightforward integration. It's early. Uh, this isn't formally shipping in even preview form until later on this year, Q3 or Q4. But this early access does give you some uh, opportunity to try this technology out. And I'd be really curious if you're um, watching this and you have a 20 series card, can you run this and tell me how it works for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have a 10 series card and you can get this to work, unlike what I'm experiencing, I'd love to hear that as well. Uh, so that's it for now. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.